Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56, back with my good friend and guinea pig John, and also my wife, the Invisible Woman, to do a little taste test on some of the MRE items that uh, Robert Flood sent to me generously in a package that we just did an unboxing of. And uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, try these, um, get uh, my opinion and John's opinion and my wife, the Invisible Woman's opinion. Um, we've got uh, the uh, chocolate chip cookie and uh, looking at the date codes, the chocolate chip cookie was made October 24, 2015. So this is pretty new. Should be good. And one of the packages of crackers. This one is May 15, 2015, so that's pretty new. Okay, next we have, that, if I can hold on to it, the cheese spread. The cheese spread was manufactured September 14, 2012. Uh, so it's actually the oldest item on the tray, besides me. Then we have the Blackberry Jam, which is December 6, 2014. Not too bad. Then the last item is the entree, and that's the spaghetti with meat sauce. Uh, that was made October 7, 2012. So, let's uh, get on with the tasting. Uh, John, you want to come on over here and... Uh, we're going to start with the crackers. Okay. And we'll have some some jam and some cheese spread along with the crackers. Eh, not too bad. Usually these things suffer a little in transportation, but these aren't aren't too bad. One piece there. Smell okay, which I would expect. Okay, give one there to you. And a piece okay. <coughs> to the invisible woman. Now we'll get some cheese spread here to go with it. In fact, I'm going to give you all enough. You can taste a, a little piece by itself, and then we'll try it with the spreads mm -hmm. in the jam. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have the tear notches. Doesn't look like. Oh, maybe that. That's a tough one. Yeah. You know what? Let's try that. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Like cheese. Looks like MRE cheese spread, the MRE version of Cheese Whiz. Some here. It smells kind of like Cheese Whiz, kind of a strong Cheese Whiz. taste. Yeah, that tastes like uh, cheese whiz, pretty much. And now we'll get a little of this uh, blackberry jam. Yeah, looks like blackberry jam. Yeah. 
here for you, John. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's try the crackers by itself. Here we go. Pass that on. Let's try a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a saltine with no salt. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty much what you expect in a Marie cracker to taste like. Alright, now let's taste some with a little bit of the cheese sauce. Let's see what they think. That's a big improvement. What do you think? It's, yeah, like you said, it's an improvement on the crackers to have the cheese stuff on it. And the cheese stuff, it, does, it doesn't it does taste bad. It's all right. It tastes think? like cheese whiz. It tastes real good. That's what I thought. It tastes like cheese whiz. It probably is cheese whiz. Yeah. <laughs> so, and how do you think it does with the crackers? It helps to improve the crackers a bit. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. But I think I could have, if I was out in the field, I wouldn't mind eating the cheese with the cheese spread right out of the package. Just, yeah. Just squeeze it right into my mouth. <laughs> I don't even bother with crackers. But it does make an improvement to the crackers. Now let's try the um, crackers and the jelly. Blackberry jelly. Mm. Jelly's jelly and it's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? I would have preferred it on bread, but if you're out in the field, you can't be choosy. Right? Yeah. So. What do you think of the blackberry jelly itself? It's all right. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad at all, I guess. It's not. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's good. You're going to make peanut butter or cheese and, and jelly. Yeah, and it is good. I was going to say, if it was peanut butter, you, that would go good. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad at all. I'll have a little more of this cheese spread. Okay. Then we'll move on to the main course. <coughs> Save the chocolate chip cookie for, uh, <laughs> for dessert. For dessert. Now, this spaghetti with Italian style meat sauce. I just boiled up some water on the stove and stuck this in there for a couple of minutes after you know, I took it off the heat, and it's plenty warm. So I'll give it a little, little mixing here, make sure, and then I'll pull it out on the plate. Man, it's a tough one. There we go. Guess they made the bags tougher back in 2012. That looks like uh, looks like spaghetti. Chef Boyardee spaghetti mm -hmm. out of a can. Y'all feel free to chime in with any comments while I'm doing this. I just wanted to notice. Like. I know you like that, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Boy, that thing is steaming. Yep. And it smells like something out of a Chef Boyardee can. Well, let me give some here to the for the invisible woman. I'm pretty sure she's going to like it because she likes spaghetti and pasta type stuff. I'll give her an extra portion. This might end up being her lunch. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, everybody dig in. Ooh, that does smell good. It's very thick. It's not a runny sauce by any means. Hmm. Could use a pinch of salt, but yes, it's, it's definitely good. not very salty. It definitely needs salt or uh, even a little hot sauce wouldn't hurt. But, overall, I'd say it compares favorably with, like I said, anything out of a Chef Boy RD or, you know, Franco-American can. I agree. Uh, of this type of thing. What do you think? It stands fine on its own, mm -hmm. especially out in the field. But if you have the luxury of being in your own house, a little bit of soy sauce wouldn't help. Would help. Yeah. Well, you could always bring little condiment things out with you. Most MREs, I think, are deliberately made with less sodium. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people always, always bring what little condiments that they prefer, and you can dress it up any way that you like it the best. But as a basic... Uh, you know, as a basic meal, if you had nothing else except this, this is perfectly fine the way it is. It sure is. It, it's perfectly tasty. It does have some spiciness in it. Mm -hmm. um, a, definitely lots of tomato flavor. I taste a little garlic. And you got the, I taste some garlic and, and like I said, some spicy pepper mm -hmm. taste. And uh, you, you can taste little teeny chunks of meat. Yeah. It did not a lot in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, this is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. A little more, and then we'll move on to the cookie. To the cookie. Any other comments about the spaghetti? No. I think we pretty much covered that. All right. It's uh, it'll take care of a hunger for sure. All right. Well, then it's chocolate chip cookie time. <clears throat> I can get it open. <laughs> ah, we got this one. Okay, this one suffered a bit in transit. <laughs> Don't know whether it was in transit to me or if it was in transit to the army, but uh, that's okay. I will give the Invisible Woman the biggest chunk because she really likes chocolate chip cookies. There you go. Bless your heart. And I will give you the next biggest no chunk because you've earned it. Now, let's give it a try. It's a thick cookie. And it smells good too. Yes, it does. Mmm. Mm. It's a very crumbly texture. It's not as not as hard and dense as most of your chocolate chip cookies you get out of the store. Yeah. It's much more crumbly. Mm. The flavor is um, it's not bad. It's it's not uh, it's not a chips ahoy. No. Uh, by any means, it, it has. To me, it has a chemical aftertaste, a very slight chemical aftertaste. And I can see by my wife's face that you can't see that she's agreeing with that. <laughs> yeah, it's um, lacking. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it, like you said, it's not Chips Ahoy, but it sort of satisfies the cookie craving when you're out in the field. Yeah, uh, exactly. I think, you know, if I was, if I was a ground pounder, you know, out in the uh, the hills of uh, you know uh, of uh, Afghanistan or something, that uh, this would be a welcome addition yes, to my uh, my daily meal. But back here in the states, I'd go to the store and get some chips of oil. <laughs> uh, what do you have to say? A little dry. The chocolate mm -hmm. taste is good. 
but it doesn't compare to others. But yeah, I forgot to mention the dryness. It is definitely a dry cookie. You would need a good canteen of water to go, yeah. <laughs> go with this. But you would survive. Mm hmm. Yeah, you would survive pretty well. Any further um, thoughts and comments? <clears throat> Well, Either of you? Being out in the field, this is what we were given. Uh, you could survive on this. Some parts of it are rather tasty. Some of it uh, well, a little to be desired, but it would, fit, it would fill you up. I think for me, of all this, the best part was the spaghetti and the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are the two I would rate the highest. What about you? Same. And Same here. Okay. Well, great minds think alike, and apparently great minds taste alike, too. That's right. <laughs> that didn't come out quite right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Unless you're a zombie, I, I don't know what brains taste like. But uh, all right, enough of that. This is the first review of my... Uh, you'll have to excuse him when and she has her yearly cough. So... Um, but that's going to be it, John. You okay. uh, go around, and when uh, sometime later, we'll be doing a video reviewing the rest of the items that I kept from uh, Robert's kind package. So, this is Spec Ops 56. My cameraman, John, and my wife, the Invisible Woman, saying so long until next time.